So you may have heard by now, at least at the time we made this video, there is no official downloadable native WhatsApp app for iPad. It's been something of a miss for the past few years, but thanks to WhatsApp web services, you can still use it on your iPad, as long as you're happy to miss out on a couple of features, mostly notifications. Now, yes, there are a ton of third-party apps on the App Store that use the web app in a sort of container, but it means dealing with lots of terrible ads a lot of the time, and so the best way, we think, is to use the web app directly in the browser. I'm Cam Bunton from PocketLint, and in this video, I'm going to show you how it's done. So first up, open Safari on your iPad. Now type web.whatsapp.com in the address bar at the top. Now you should see a screen that says use WhatsApp on your computer, and it should load a QR code on it. Now depending on whether you're using an iPhone or an Android phone, the process is slightly different for actually getting that service connected up. In your chat screen on Android, tap the three dot menu in the top right and tap linked devices. On the iPhone, tap settings in the bottom right and then linked devices. Now on the next screen, tap link device and it'll ask you for some form of authentication here, either facial or fingerprint recognition, and then it'll load up a camera view. If it hasn't had access to your camera already, it'll ask you for permission to access your camera so accept it if it does. All you need to do now is point your camera at the QR code on the iPad screen. It'll take a short while to load everything once it's recognized, but you'll see your chats right there when it does. If you want to mimic the app experience, you can add a shortcut to the service right on your iPad's home screen. Just tap the share icon in the top to the right of the URL bar. It looks like a square with an arrow pointing upwards. Find add to home screen in the list, and now you'll have a shortcut for WhatsApp web on your iPad's home screen, and you can tap it to launch it whenever you like, like a native app. Once it's loaded, it even looks and feels like using an app. The only difference being you won't get notifications like an app does when new messages come through on your phone. You'll have to open it, wait for it to refresh, and then you'll see new messages. So there you go. For now, that's the way to get WhatsApp on your iPad and getting it feeling almost like having a native app on your screen. I've been Cam, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.